This campus opened up in 1974. This was a campus that uh, I attended this same building in 1988. This was a building that, you know, I graduated from here in 88. I attended this uh, school. Um, it was something that was really good for uh, us at that time. Our primary issue with our building is security, safety of our building. Uh, it's virtually impossible to secure this building. Uh, it's a building with over 70 doors uh, around, exterior doors around our building. Uh, makes it virtually impossible for our staff our resource officers to secure the building adequately. From the highway to here, they can easily get on. I can't stop them. All the DoorDash, you know, just that right there behind me tells it all, you know, how easy accessible that they are to this campus. Typically, we have issues with uh, certain spots around our building. We'll have like a oozing type thing on rainy, rainy days that come up out of the floor in certain spots in the building. Uh, in our gym, we'll have to it'll start flooding in where the water comes in under the doors and we'll have to build sandbags up to kind of cold the water out from entering into the gym and get all the hardwood on the floors. Uh, we'll have flooding issues in the classroom, in our cafeteria, where the, the flooding comes down the wall and it'll sit uh, in the cafeteria or in the, some of our office spaces. So there's several issues with flooding that we're they're patching up and I, I, I'm thankful for our maintenance department that they are they're patching those things up as they come, but it's just um, a situation that keeps happening because it's an older building. This area is where our, our, most of our students come in our, on our, during our athletic events. Our parents and our visitors will come in this uh, area through the back gym door. But as you see on today, a day like today, on a rainy day, we'll have flooding and we have like even the sandbags we use to the side. The flooding goes into the gym. Uh, our custodians, our coaches have to get in there. We have to kind of get the sandbags up to kind of cause a barrier to keep the stuff, the water out of the building. So this is a definite hazard area for, for our school. What this track is that we've had it over 30 something years. Uh, I ran on this track and it's hurt numerous amounts of um, ankles out here, shin splints. Um, and you see how when it rains, it water flows directly into the track area. And it's something that would be here that hinders our track practice. Um, and it's asphalt that, you know, it's not nothing that's conducive for it running on a track, it's asphalt that it's uh, set up just to be on a road and not for students to run out here actually to try to compete or to even to practice or for, for competition. This project will allow our uh, community to have a non student building that will uh, feature a more safe, secure building uh, that acts uh, that has a centralized access to the building that uh, will provide without those uh, exterior doors that will provide the security that's needed in our building. It, uh, this project will provide safe learning spaces for our students, uh, uh, learning spaces that are adequate enough that are not separated by partitions that uh, were uh, made back in the 70s for a uh, time that, you know, where the schools were adequately made in the pod system. But this is where our, our pod concept comes in that you know coming into the pod you have access to seven different classrooms so this is the whole pod concept uh, but this all this building also will feature uh, competition gyms auxiliary gyms where you know, where we'll have space for our we can, uh, whole practices uh, for our students uh, that they'll be able to practice without staying late in the night trying to uh, finish practices and go over into the gym, not the gym, but the cafeteria, because they practice basketball over there with, you know, four teams, you know, so that's too hard, you know. Uh, the JV practice from 3.30 to 5, they split the court, 
then the girls practice from 5, 5.30 um, till 7. And then the boys come from 7 to 8.30 a little bit later. So that's a late night for our boys. You know, that's, that's too late for our kids to do that. But that's the only gym we have, and that's the only way we get to do it. This is it in the wrestling season, and this is where I wrestled 33 years ago. This, this building also will have uh, science labs that are adequate for our students in the 21st century that you know don't have mold and uh, different smells coming up out of this thing. Uh, one of our science uh, rooms, uh, one of our biology classes, and. We have the lab sinks back here at the back of the class, and these are sinks that we don't know we don't use any longer. Uh, and we put these uh, boards over it because of uh, the smell that comes up out of the sink, and we can never get the smell to go away. And typically, when it rains, our sewer backs up, and then the smell will come up in this pod and then G F pods, and they'll. You know, the smell will come up in bathroom areas and it's just a, a horrific smell that comes up. So we kind of minimize it by putting those kind of things in place to, 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 to reduce the smell in the classroom. We'll have a, a cafeteria that will hold, uh, for, uh, that will function as a, a something that we can carry on two lunches where we can have 350, 370 students per lunch. Uh, we're currently, we're having to send those students outside into the courtyard, which also has another situation where anyone can come on campus and then mingle in with our students. So uh, this, also I, I think of another feature of this uh, project, it will also provide athletic fields that are central on our campus and our students won't have to travel long uh, spaces to, to go to athletic fields to practice or to do athletic events. Uh, and the last thing I think of is uh, that we'll, this new project will provide a theater or, or a uh, auditorium type uh, feature to our building that will hold over 650 students or uh, where we can have uh, events where it's a, for, a program for awards or we can have community events where our students can bring their families in and have a program for our students. I think our students will benefit because um, for one, it'll, call, it'll bring a sense of pride, a sense of pride for our school, a sense of pride for our community, something that our students are able to have uh, a building that allows them to, uh, that's conducive for learning for the 21st century, that our students will be able to get in classrooms that's more spacious, that uh, they'll have that ability to get into groups and move around in classes, that they'll have that adequate space.